Hi, I'm Celeste Kaplan. I'm so excited to show you how to do your highlighting and contouring the easy way with mascara's 3D foundation. So chances are you've already been color matched and you've got your makeup in hand. You can follow me step by step to make this an easy process. It's a little bit of a different way of doing your makeup. Um, so it may feel a little unnatural at first, but if you stick with me, you will be able to do this quickly in no time and it is so much fun. So let's get to it. I always like to start by doing my, um, setting my face with the setting spray. This kind of just primes things. So this setting spray is the Stay Out There Gorgeous Setting Spray. I can put it on my Perfector sponge and just tap it in or you can spray it straight on your face. Um, you can get this with or without SPF. The um, next step is to go ahead and take your 30 second hack brush, take the tipped end in your main highlight color. So usually this is the deeper color of the highlights and it should be marked on your color match as main highlight. And go ahead and put this on your eyelids, just a real thin layer. And then you can take your eyeshadow everything brush and go to town with your eyeshadows. So um, I'm just gonna do a real simple look with this color, bright eyes, taking this fluffy side, just add in a color. Okay, then I'm gonna flip this over to the small end. Take this color just in my lash line a little bit, just to frame my eyes. Okay, and that's all we're gonna do. You can go ahead and add mascara or liner, whatever. Let's get on to the big show, the 3D foundation. Okay, so back to the 30 second hack brush. Come on in with your main highlight. And you're going to think of this color as your color corrector. This is your BFF when it comes to covering blemishes, sunspots, redness, the works. So anywhere you have any of those issues, and then beyond that, I, what I'm doing is I'm just focusing on starting from the center of my face and working outwards. So I make two big triangles underneath my eyes, starting at the tip of my chin, and then blend it out along the jawline. And I've got this blemish and some redness here. We're gonna take care of that. Take care of that on the nose as well. And when you're applying this, you're just gonna take a less is more approach. So a little bit goes a long way with the application of your main highlight. If it tends to be bringing out an unpleasant texture, or it's not blending well or covering your red areas without you having to use a lot of product, chances are we need to go a little darker on your color. So let me know and we'll adjust that, but it's not the makeup or you, it's just most likely the color. Okay, so once you get that on there, um, you can switch sides of your brush to the the blunt side. And we're gonna come in with contour now. So that's your darkest color in your palette. This one I'm using is called Astoria. All right, now, what we do with contour is we're bringing our bone structure to light here. So um, we aren't one dimensional, our faces aren't either. The contour is going to really chisel out my own unique bone structure and make things look so pretty. So I'm gonna feel for that most prominent part of my cheekbone and come in back here by my ear just under where that is most prominent. And I'm gonna swoop this down at an angle and create a little pie piece, okay? See those smile lines? That's the red light 
do not enter this area with contour, okay? You can adjust this angle, the angle of your contour line, just based on what you want to accomplish. So if you go a little steeper with it, um, that's gonna have a more slimming effect. If you go a little more horizontal with it and kind of cuff it up, then that tends to just um, really highlight the apple of your cheek and have kind of a youthful effect. Okay, so let's do this side. Just creating a little pie piece. And then if I get it a little bit too high or whatever, there's no mistakes going on because we can just come in with that contour side or the highlight side and erase if we need to. Okay? So start back by the ear and blend it forward. That way it's darkest back here where it's allowed to be. Okay? Then we'll dip again in that contour color and frame the face. So we're just gonna follow the hairline. I like to get it right in my hair and sweep it forward. This has a framing effect where it tells people looking at you right where to look, right into your eyes. And you can also utilize some power of contouring by coming in further on the sides if you want to elongate or, or slim, and then further down on top if you want to kind of round things out, like say your forehead, you feel like it's a little longer than you want to draw attention to, you can come along this way, okay? Okay, now let's dip again in our contour and just come right here where we ended off with the cheekbone. We're gonna go straight down and then right along the jawline and sweep it down the neck. This just chisels out that nice feminine line of the, the jawbone. Can crisp things up a bit. So think of your contour color, that's your darker foundation color, as an absorber. Right here in my cheeks, it's absorbing light. And the illusion of that is it absorbs some of the um, volume there. So it makes things look more slim. You can do that with your cheek or your jawbone as well. So if you had like a little extra flesh right there, you can come up a little higher and just absorb the light there. It's so much fun. Okay, now if I just have the 30 second hack brush, I can come in and use this same side for my blush. Um, I just wanna be careful to use the Restore Brush Cleaner in between applications so that it's nice and clean and not gonna put pink where we don't want pink next time. But this is my favorite brush for blush. It's called the Be Bold Brush. I'm gonna take the smaller end. It's nice and round and fluffy in my blush. And I like to smile when I do blush and put it right here just on the apple of the cheek and blend it up. So this is just gonna add some vitality to our face, make us look full of life and it also kind of blends out that contour like it never happened. It's still doing its job, but nobody can tell how or why. Okay, now I'm taking my perfecter and just blending things out really nice. Tapping this along. And it's barely, barely damp, okay? So it should be big and fluffy when you use it. I like to get it wet and then wring it out with a towel, okay? Next step is our accent highlight, okay? So <clears throat> the deeper your con your main highlight may be, may have an influence on how important your accent highlight is. For some, it's just this fun extra finishing touch where it brightens under the eyes. And for others, it's the piece that makes all the difference in making your makeup all match, okay? So um, I'm gonna show you using the detail hack brush, the small end, how I like to add my accent highlight. You can also add your accent highlight with the same brush you were using for your main highlight, the 30 second hack. This one just makes it a little easier to get in under the eyes. So I dip once in the lighter accent highlight color and I'm gonna work that into a smaller triangle underneath my eye. Using my cheekbone 
as a guide for how big to make my triangle. Okay, can you see that? So that's just gonna wake things up underneath the eye a little bit. And as we add this extra bit of light, again, we're just gonna focus on the center of the face. So I'm gonna start right here in the center of my chin, add just a tiny bit right here between my brows. Make kind of a diamond here. And then I like to get it just on the edge of my finger like this. Put it right between my eyebrows and then gently sweep that right down the center of my nose to make a nice straight fine line that kind of just makes my nose look more delicate. I'm going to add just a tiny bit of the brightening right here as well. Okay, and then we'll blend. This makeup does not set on its own. So sometimes it takes a second for it to kind of get where it's going, which is where the perfector sponge comes in as your best friend. If you happen to notice any of the makeup settling in your fine lines, it's just because it needed to get where it was going. Come on in with the perfector sponge and blot it out a little bit and you'll be good to go. The setting spray also makes a big difference in keeping it lasting and where it's meant to be all day long. Okay, so we did our two highlight colors. Well, we did the main highlight, then contour, uh, our blush, and our accent highlight. I've got this other blush in there as an option because I love this size compact. This is the mini double decker, and it's so fun to have options. The, the fourth part of our 3D foundation is illuminator. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that with my finger right here, just right on top of my cheekbone. This just adds a little bit of extra dewiness, catches the light and just makes us look youthful and fresh. So I like to put it on the brow bone, the cheekbone. It's really pretty along the philtrum right there. And um, you can even do it like on the inner part of your eye, okay? Um, let's see, then if you tend to be a little bit on the oily side, um, after setting with the setting spray, which is what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put that on. That'll just keep my makeup lasting all day long. It also has the option of having the SPF in it. Then I'm going to come if I'm extra oily and I want a matte finish, I can come in with the um, Power Powder brush and my, um, this is the Vanilla Dust, it's a translucent powder, and I can just press that in where I don't want any shine, okay? So that will give you the power of a matte finish. Okay, and then watch this. <laughs> You can go ahead and contour your lips a little bit. I'm using the eyeshadow everything brush again, the small end. Just to line the edge of my lips. And then I'm going to come in with my blush color and it's a lip and cheek. You're allowed to use it on your lips and your cheeks. And there you go, that's it. So I do my eyes first, it's a little backwards, and then you work your way up your whole face from one compact using the best brushes in the world. You're gonna love it. Stick with it if it feels unnatural at first. Let me know your questions and um, I'm here for you but it just takes a few times practice and you will be loving your results. All right, take care.